There is a, a creative side to animal training, particularly because you're working with animals as performers. You're creating, you know, characters um, with the animals that you're training. There's a, a, a hundred different ways you can train an animal to do one thing. I try to create like the most organic performance I can get. I'm Sarah Clifford. I'm the head animal trainer for Sid and Marty Croft's Mutton Stuff, which is on the Nickelodeon channel. I've always been, you know, obsessed with animals. I was one of those little girls who had every kind of pet imaginable. I've always kind of wanted to understand how they communicated. That kind of started my, you know, interest in training. When I went to college, I was studying media communications, and I was always very drawn to the film industry. I started working as a production assistant. After I did that for probably about two years, I ended up working on The Matrix too. We had some trained crows um, on The Matrix. A bunch of animal trainers came in. I, I didn't even know that was like a position. It was a, a very powerful moment for me in thinking, uh, if I can do that, I would be so happy. And I started cold calling and most of them like, sorry, we're not even taking interns. And, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I just wanna work for free. And, um, I kept trying and I didn't give up and finally there was an animal company that said sure you can come up if you want and hang out with the dogs and you know and, and pick up poop and you know and I'm like yes please I want to. I eventually met a trainer that worked for another company and they said yeah you, if you want you can come watch us work on set and that was um, the next you know foot in the door. Training animals came really natural to me and after probably almost two years of volunteering I had the opportunity where she needed an extra trainer on something and that was a, a, a TV show called Sabrina the Teenage Witch. That was my very first show as an animal trainer. Over here is our trailer where we keep our dogs. Um, this is we're here five days a week and about 12 to 14 hours a day. So this is where we house everybody. Good girl. Go circle. Go circle. Go circle. Oh, that's good. Good. So I read the script and then I kind of get a sense of what the character is and uh, discuss with the producers what my concerns are about the scripts, what they need to take out of the scripts. We kind of match the abilities of the animals with the character that's being cast for mutton stuff. Um, it was a long casting process because there are 13 distinct character dogs on the show. Sit, down, stay, down Piper, stay, good. So this area here is our playground. This is where we shoot all of our exterior scenes for the show. My job as an animal coordinator is making sure all the animals are being taken care of, making sure um, all my trainers are prepping um, the dogs for upcoming scripts. I've trained bunnies, I've trained rats and mice a lot. Um, I've wrangled cockroaches. I've worked um, with miniature llamas on a, on a film. Pretty much any time the writers come up with some silly idea, um, I'm like, okay, I can get it for you, and I provide the animals. You know, I'm very passionate about doing good work. You know, it's very important to me to show up and have an animal perform well. You know, I just think you, there's just, you know, you know that you're meant to do something in life. I, I luckily have this nice, strong, stubborn streak in me, you know, and, and um, that kind of paid off in that aspect where I was like, nope, I'm gonna do this. That was so good. You guys did such a good job. You're so good. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good, doodles. Oh, doodles. Costume design is an art form because it represents the feeling, the character, what's going on. I always look at what this garment and this shape and this pattern and this color and this fabric, 